Hey, what's up guys? Baba200 here. Uh, today we're just going to talk about market data. This is a quick video. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there do your own uh, bots and trading. And so if you are familiar with TraderVate, who I use, um, basically they kind of shut people off from using market data um you need a license uh and you have to pay like five hundred dollars a month or something crazy like that and so basically they cut people off from streaming um futures market data and so that was a real bummer to anybody who was trying to use this platform um and you know i i take time on and off from code in the bot but i try and stay up with what's going on in the market so long story short trade of eight cut us off from market data and so i was looking for alternatives and the alternatives that i found were just pretty ridiculous um some sites would charge you like five thousand a month or whatever for market data you know especially if you're trying to make your own uh, bot and platform so i came across this company that's really good. They're called Data Vento. Um, I'm a big fan of them so far. I've used them for their data. It fits my needs for exactly um, what I need, and they're super helpful. They have a Discord, not a Discord, sorry, a Slack channel that you can uh, actually join, and you get a lot of help if you're trying to code your own. Uh, your own bot. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of Data Bento, the company, uh, what they offer, and then just show you a demo of what I've done with their services. So as you can see here, they have a pretty big data catalog, uh, CME, Globex, NASDAQ, they have equities, options, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, you know, I only use this for futures data. And in using this, for this data set, I get charged. I don't. I only want it for live data. I'm not too interested in historical data, but they offer that as well, like a large sum, and it's it's really not expensive. So, what I've done is I got an account with Data Bento. I signed up to get the Globex uh, CME data. And doing so, I'm able to get open, high, low, close, one minute and one second, uh, which is pretty good, which is which equates to kind of like streaming. So if you look here, you can see the schemas that you can get, right? So you can get, you know, one second, one minute, one hour, one day, statistics, status, etc. Stuff that I don't even use. Uh, you can see... Right here, everything's time stamped. Uh, and you can get data from 2017 to today, which is pretty dope. And uh, yeah, so let's see the pricing section. So you could do uses base, pay as you go. Um, honestly, I use usage base. I don't even get charged this much a month. I just paid the licensing fee, the licensing fee uh, to get uh, ES data or, you know, whatever product you're trying to get. It's only like $37 a month, which is kind of equivalent to what you pay uh, when you have a futures client. Um, so I'm willing to pay that for 24 hour futures data. Oh yeah. And so you can see some of the sample data that they have, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm not going to go too much into this, but definitely check out Data Bento. Um, they are a pretty dope company. Um, and the pricing is really good for, you know, for whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I was going to go and show you guys what I did with their code and how I integrated it with my bot. So basically, if we look at this Python script here, um, I created this script to basically is a basic script to utilize the one minute and one second data. Uh, so, you know, analyze the database here. Um, 
you know, insert and update data from data bento to my database. Uh, we process the record. So if you're going to use data bento, you need to know one thing. Um, when you subscribe to the one minute data, it will give you all of the data for the day. However, it will only update every minute. So then you have to switch to one second data, right? So one second is every second, which is pretty cool. But you need to devise a way, you know, and you're going to have to do this. But if you're looking at my code, you probably can figure it out from here. But you're going to have to devise a way to insert that one second data into the historical one minute data, which is not really hard. Um, so I have it where it connects, gives us one minute, and then it shows us one second continuous. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. And so you can see here, it just updated on everything that I missed. Excuse me. Um, everything that I missed within the, uh, the hour. Uh, last time I got data, I can't remember. Um, and so basically it shows you timestamp, open, high, low, close, and the volume, right? Th that's all the, that's the basic stuff that I need. Um, and so this goes into a, uh, a SQL database and then I'm able to pull it from my bot the cool thing about using a database I'm sure as most programmers know is that you can pull from it while it's being updated which is really cool so right now I'm waiting for the script to connect to the one second data um, and once it does that I'm going to demonstrate here uh, with a PowerShell script a simple PowerShell script to uh, to see that market data. So I just have a uh, while true quick script uh, to to get the data. So basically, this is the database path that I use, right? And so to get the data to see exactly what's going on, we would do this. And so ESD data is our variable that holds all the data. And you can see it matches up 1038 over here, the 1037. And so now we're getting our one second data. So we've connected to our one second data. So this is what it looks like when you get it from your database. So now I'm just going to hit and just show you how we get the data real time from your database from your bot so this would be running in the background this python script i use it as a startup script um basically you know it'll start and just grab my data forever uh i don't see any of this um but when i utilize it you can see now at times 1040 the opens 566.75 uh, 56675 and so it updates it updates in real time so yeah just wanted to uh, to show you guys that data bento works it's pretty cool as you can see here the close is updating constantly 5678 uh, the market seems real low in volume but 5677 so it's updating uh, and you can plug this into your box and you can have features data, 24-hour features data. You can get historical data. And, um, yeah, pretty cool company. I'm not endorsed by them. I don't get paid by them. I pay them. Uh, but to anybody who's looking for futures data, I think Data Bento is your best bet. All right, see you to the next one.